Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Um, I took the racks and moved stuff around again. So I'm going to do the next section of uh, the rack videos that I've been doing. I took everything that was on this one side, moved everything over, moved the Berkeley stuff around so you guys will see it. So this is just the intro. So enjoy. Talk to you soon. Mark out. Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. And like I just said in that intro, I took everything that was on top over there and moved it onto this side. And everything that was on this side, I moved over here so that I could show it to you. Um, so I moved some of the Berkeley stuff down lower. So it's really kind of from the culprit stuff and up. So I think I'll start with the culprit baits because this is a bait that I've spoken about before. This is a was one of my favorite flipping baits when it came out. And unfortunately, culprit discontinued it. Um, <clears throat> You know, I caught so many fish on these, the three inch size, more so the four inch size flipping. The three inch size does have its value too. So this is an old bait, which I wish culprit would bring back because um, I loved it. And it had a bunch of nice colors and um, I stocked up on them when I knew they were out of stock. Anywhere I could find that was selling some eBay, uh, you know, tackle companies online. And I just, you know, hoarded as many as I could get because uh, I knew it was discontinued. But... The culprit water beetle was your beaver style bait. This is a three inch size. And I had a bunch of different colors. I don't have as many as the three inch because I did use it more as a flipping bait. But this is really a good bait right now. Uh, whenever I do use it, kind of like on a Ned. So I've got a bunch of colors here. This is really the only three inch ones I've got. Got some different colors there. That June bug blue. Uh, uh, June bug blue is a cool color. Black neon, one of my favorites few of those but I've picked these up over eBay throughout the years green pumpkin green I believe that is or I'm sorry green pumpkin blue but that's the three inch size which like I said I can use that more now you know kind of as a Ned bait oh when I do use it I don't really flip the three inch size oh you can use it as a jig trailer but I would just kind of use it more as for finesse fishing but some nice colors so that's the three inch size and I have a bunch here in that four inch size I even have more in one of my boxes you know because i just can't fit them all in the rack so i just keep like three or four bags each out for when i want to throw some in the boat when i go fishing um this green pumpkin red was a nice color even though it doesn't look red <laughs> it's pretty cool and i get a few of them uh let's see like that goby color i think i only had one of those that, that white four inch is actually in the wrong spot it's supposed to be over here clean that up right now uh let's see that goby color June bug. You know, they had all the really good flip that water tiger is a nice like watermelon type color. Can't go wrong with red shad. That big Texan is a nice color. Got a couple of those. Big Texans back there. And I don't know what oh yep, that's big Texans. Those are all big Texans. Um, some black and blue here. Blue shadow. Color they called chili pepper. Focus it on that for you. Chili pepper color was kind of neat with that green with that red flaky on there. Got a few of those going back. This green pumpkin red here. Oh, what? Hold on. These aren't even in the red. Oh, okay. That belongs down here. No, let me see. Maybe I got these mixed up a little. Oh, this goes up here. You guys are helping me organize. Green pumpkin blue. Here's the big inch, the four inch size. Down here is that goby color. I think I got like one bag of this. June bug. What's that one? Water tiger. I don't think I have all these 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 organized very well. More big Texans. Yeah, I think these are a little these are still a little mixed up over here. I guess I forgot to mix organize that one. But there's the June bug color again. Got a bunch of them. Black Neon, I believe, back there. Let that focus. Here we go. Black Neon, one of my favorites. Looks like a Red Shad. Yeah, Red Shad. I got a, that one. That one line is like a mixed up of them. Rusty, uh, rusty Green is kind of a cool color. Lots of cool colors. There's a Crawdad color back there. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. That Crawdad color was neat. A few of them. Uh, peanut butter and jelly color. That's just what those are. And this is just like white. And I don't know what's in the back there. Oh, yeah, okay. That black chartreuse. 
It's like a black with a chartreuse flake on it. You can see that. It's kind of a neat. Oh, they're all really cool colors. Gobi color. Yeah, like one of those. The green pumpkin candy is one of my favorites. Killed them on Bomacine one year and I said, hey, this is a great flipping bait. Then I started to look for more and discontinued. There's that big Texan again. Yeah, these are definitely a little, a little mixed up. That water tiger color is a cool, like it's a green pumpkin watermelon type. But you guys get the idea. It's a, it's a really good flipping bait. I don't know if you can find them anywhere. I think I probably bought every one I could find. <laughs> so I don't know if there's any hanging around anywhere. Or you guys might have some laying around if you guys have been fishing for a while and bought these when they were out. Uh, the seven and a half inch culprit worm, very popular bait. Got boxes of those down there somewhere. I'll show you guys those eventually. But uh, that's the culprit stuff. So that was all just culprit baits that I moved over up here. Uh, if I go back to this side, uh, for you guys who live in the Northeast, Pennsylvania area, New Jersey area, you go to Wacky Worm in Pennsylvania. It's a great fishing store. And this is like their, this is their, like their Ned version. And I would buy these big packs. They last forever, and they've got lots of great colors. Pretty good price. So if you want to stock up, um, they always have a spring sale. I'll, I'll miss that now that I'm up here, but some different, that's the, that's that rainbow trout color. That's a really cool Ned. Killed them one, uh, one spring on uh, <clears throat> Oak Ridge in New Jersey on that color. Killed them on that, just black. Some different, like, Alabama craw. You guys can kind of see them. This is all wacky worm stuff. Get those Neds out of there. I'll show you what's back there. That's their big, like, Senko type bait. Pick those back when I'm done with the video. That's like their big, their big worm. Throw these sometimes when I'm flipping, like, heavy weeds and stuff. Flip that sucker. Uh, here's some more wacky worm, like uh, the chunks, three jigs. Some of their craws, and I've got boxes and boxes of these, so when the time comes, you guys will see a bunch of these. Uh, let's see, more wacky worm stuff. I'm not sure what else that is back there. It actually looks like some worms. All these things are kind of faded as the years have gone by. Just like, a, a, you know, a worm. Four or five inch worm. They're flat whack. This was like a, I kind of threw this as a Ned. He was selling this the one year. I don't know if he still makes these. It's kind of a cool little bait. Use it as a trailer. Use it like on as, as a Ned. Get a good look at it there. Three inch flat whack. Some like spider type heads right there. I don't even know who makes those. I don't think they're wacky worm. There's an old, there's a tube. And that's just some wacky worm stuff. I have a lot of stuff in boxes from them. But he makes, uh, who makes some great, you know, soft plastics of his own. Um, over here is just some Mismo tubes. I don't have a ton of these, but it's, it was always a nice tube that I like to throw around. A few colors of that. I don't really see them around much. I don't, I'm assuming they still exist. But this is a real nice tube, the Mismo tube. Um, I showed you those culprits. Uh, over here, Dry Creek. Um, flipping tube. Oh, they call it the flipping tube. It's a maxi tube, they call it. But this is really a nice flipping tube. Five inch. Got some great colors. Like that one, I think, on top is my favorite one right there. That Snake River Crawl. You know, I like it. It's got that orange in it. But a lot of these colors are... If you're looking for a, a five inch flipping tube... Dry Creek one is nice. Bama Craw. Oh, uh, let's see. Old Ugly with Attitude. <laughs> That's a cool name. I bought these a while ago. I think I'd take a warehouse. Texas Craw. A few of these colors. That's a neat one there. Bug Juice. It's probably just Green Pumpkin. Green Pumpkin Pepper. Black neon, yellow jacket, they call it. And it looks like a just a chartreuse one. Chartreuse silver glitter. So that's the maxi tube from Dry Creek. It's a nice flipping tube if you're looking for a five inch tube. I throw, a lot of times I'm throwing the Venom tube. I've shown you that on other videos, but I do like this one a lot too. They have some cool colors. So if you're looking for a flipping tube, that five inch Dry Creek is nice. Um, Deep Creek Lures. I bought these at, a, I think I bought these at an outdoor show one year. I don't remember which one. Um, 
I can't remember, but um, they did make this nice um, flipping bait. You know, creature bait, beaver style bait, super razor bait, uh, super, I think, what do they call that again? Super razor beetle? Yeah, the DC super razor, uh, razor beetle, uh, watermelon slice. They got some nice colors. I'll go through a few of the colors with you and show them to you. But it's really a nice, and these, if I remember correctly, these reek like garlic, which I love. So it's a really nice uh, beaver style bait. Of course, you can't see these colors. A lot of these are until they've been in the boat and gotten wet. So I'm not sure what that color is. So my guess is some kind of a crawl. Looks like a green pumpkin with orange, which you know I like. Uh, let's see if I got another one. Maybe we'll know. Copper crawl. I don't think it's that one. That's a cool one right there. That morning dawn. But I haven't seen them at an outdoor show in a while, so I don't know what show I saw them at years ago when I bought this stuff. Voodoo is a cool color, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the website still exists. The company's still going on. White Ice. And what do we got? That last one there. I'm some kind of a black and blue. But those, you can tell the ones that were in the boat there for a while. And they got wet. I'm not sure what the names of the colors are, but you can check their website. I will put links to all these that you can still get in the video description. Obviously, you can't get the culprits anymore. Wacky Worm, I'll put a, uh, their website on there. You guys can check it out. For, you, can, you can order online from them if you don't live in the area. But uh, Green Pumpkin Dazzle, some cool colors. Super Bream, June Bug. Whoa, what's that say? Natural Crawl, that might be that first one. Oh, nuclear cross, sorry. South African special, popular color, green pumpkin. So, that's the Deep Creek lure. So if you're looking for another style of uh, beaver style bait you want to throw, there you go. Uh, oh, here's some more three inches. I didn't even know I had more three inches. So here's some, some more three inch culprits up top here. Oh, I see what I did. I must have moved them down when I, and I hung them on something else. So I'll show you these quick. There's a three incher in that. That black chartreuse flake. I'll move these down here. Give you a quick look at the three inch size. Uh, green, green pumpkin. Gosh, I wish they still made these. Green, green pumpkin. A lot of these I got on eBay from some, you know, tackle shops that were still selling them. But that's it. That's it for the, for the, uh, the water beetles. Um, over here, some tackle HD. A couple of their Hel Helgramites. That's the five inch size, the bigger one. They have some cool colors. Now, good bait for drop shotting. Throw it on a net head. Some cool, you know, you know, the Hell G is a, is a very popular style. That just lights out, which is like a black. That's the bigger size. I think I got two different sizes here. I've got to check. Five inch size, HD Magic. It's a local tackle shop here that does sell some of these, and I think I got some online. Dark 30, black and purple is really cool. Looks like another black lights out, is that black color. Bloodshot, looks like a watermelon red. Green pumpkin, and the best color in the world, the HD Magic. I love. So that's the HD Tackle Helgramite. You guys are like throwing Helgies? You're looking for another version of the Helgi. Oh, let's see what we got next to this here. Uh, Biwa baits. I have a few of their different their different baits that I've accumulated over the years. This is kind of like their like a Ned Pate. Pate, I guess they call it. <laughs> Want some pate? There you go. Uh Biwa Tail Gunner. Some of these I haven't even thrown. I don't remember where I got these from. Another one of the Tail Gunners. We got a little swim bait. Three and a half inch. There's a tackle shop up in Vermont I would go to um, that had Biwa baits one year. We bought some. What's that? The Ultra Hog, the three inch Ultra Hog from Biwa. Uh, let's see. That's really the reason I started buying. That Armored Crawl was a bait I really liked. I threw that on a Ned Head. 
move these out of the way. But that uh, armor crawl is a nice, real nice crawl. Jig trailer, throwing on a Ned. I think it's is it four inch? Yeah, it's a four inch bait. So you could actually, I tried flipping these, but I didn't really flip them much. I used them more as a trailer and kind of Ned rigging them. But it's a really nice, uh, it's a nice crawl. Some fish is something different to look at. Green pumpkin. I think I got these at Rack and Reel up in uh, Vermont. Okeechobee. Other Okeechobees. That color is nice right there. I forget what that color is called. Orange green. That's a nice one. So that's the Armored Craw from Biwa. I'm assuming they still make these. Like I said, if they still, if you can still get these baits, I'll put a link to them. But nice baits. I don't have a ton of them. I could say the armor crow is probably my favorite thing that they do make. Uh, over here I got my somatis baits. You guys have seen the videos I've done on them. Uh, can't wait to throw the uh, the hollow tail worm here or H the HTW, because that's hollow. You guys have checked the video out. I've done that, so that floats right up. Some nice videos online on Instagram of that bait. Looking forward to throwing that. You know, I got a bunch of those at the outdoor show in New Hampshire. And I hope to get some more of them. One at the Milford show. I believe Somatis will be at the Philly show that's coming up. It might be this weekend. But you guys saw these in another. If you check my Check my Somatis baits video out. This is the this is the baits that I got at the show last year. Some of the drop shot baits. The Somatis shot. Banged up color. Perch. Love that perch. Gobi. All great colors. I don't know what color that is. I forget the name of that one. I don't think that was marked now. Black with a gold flake. Okay, I'm back. Uh, like I was saying, Somatis shots, Primo color, really cool. I have a mess here. Juice color. You guys can see the video I did on these last year, but I really wanted to get these moved past these. I can show you some of the slobsters back there. That's the miniature one, the really cool crawl that he makes. That three and a half inch is nice. Throw that on your jig trailer, flip it. Some swim baits from Somatis. 3.75 inches. That's a great color right there. What color is that called again? I can't even see that. I think it says galactic. Looks a little faded. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But some more swim baits, some worms, some craws. There's a great craw color right there. I got these years ago. I got these at the show, I think, before even the Milford show. Yeah, see, that's not on there. But that's lobster is a really, really nice craw. If you're looking for some craw options, so that's the Somatis bait section. Um, now the whole top section is just six cents um, soft plastics. So I've got a, a lot of the Divine swim baits, which is more of a you know a denser plastic swim bait than like you say your Kitek. I got different sizes. This is a 3.2. I think these are a lot of three twos down here. I'll just take a few out, show them to you. Some of these might be three eighths. 3.2 grass candy. So they're nice, they're nice swim baits. I use these now and then. That's a bigger size right there. There's a 3.2. What's that? Melon Dawn. So really nice colors. Like I said, it's a little more dense pl plastic than uh, like you would get, say, with Kitek. But they don't tear up as fast either. That's a 3.8 Golden Shiner. So some different sizes of those. Three eighths. Here's the bigger size. I believe this section is all 3.8s. See the different colors. This, I believe, is a 4 4. Yeah, that's the bait juice color. There's the 4 4. I will say it's a lot easier doing this with my phone than trying to hold that iPad up. But there's the 4 4. And the, it's that Dawn. That, oh, I'm sorry. That's a grass candy color. So if you want a 4 4, you know, a f over 4 inch swim bait. That melon flash. A lot of times they have these on sale and I'll you know stock up on the colors that I like. 
you know, six cents usually has a lot of good sales. It's a cool color, that blood shiner. There's your four four inch size, so you guys get the idea. And I kind of le I've left these in there pack. You know, I don't want those tails getting bent up. So I'll just throw these on the boat if I'm going to throw them. But your 3.2, your 3.8, your 4.4 four of your Divine Swim Baits from Sixth Sense. Nice baits. Um, I really haven't used these that much since I got them the whale. It's kind of like a fluke style bait. Or this might be, the, this is more the swim, uh, swim bait type of uh, bait. I really haven't used these yet. I, I got them last year. I just never got around to really throwing them. I don't even know if I've taken these to the lake yet. So I'm going to try them this year. See how I like it. I did get a few of them. You know, in the whites and the that's a platinum white color. That's what is that? Four and a half inch. Yeah. So I got a couple of them. I haven't really used them that much yet, so I can't say whether I like them or not. Um, there's that flush bait from them, which is kind of like a fluke style bait. I haven't really used this one either. Five point two inch, but I do like that color. Watermelon candy magic can't go wrong with that. And there's the white one. I haven't really used the uh, these two, the whale, the flush yet. So I'm, the jury's still out for me, whether I like it or not, because I haven't really thrown them much. I got a couple of them, but I'll get them in the water eventually. And uh, here's their Ned Fry. So which is a, it's a it's your Ned you know style bait, but it's a little bigger. Um, it is a nice bait. Um, I have caught some nice fish on these. I do like using them. They got some great colors. And what I do like about it is it gets you know it gets beat up and you lose start to lose it. Eventually, you're going to get down and have like a three-inch bait. So it is, it is a nice, if you want to start with a bigger Ned, and they have some great colors. There's that electric shiner color. That cosmic black is really cool. Oh, what else we got? Gill dust, black and blue flake, dark, uh, dark melon red, chartreuse pepper, grass candy, watermelon candy, which you know I like, another grass candy. Must have had grass candy on sale. <laughs> I got a few of them. Um, I'll show you the last couple here. Melon Dawn. So they do have nice colors. That bluegrass magic I always liked. Caught some nice ones on that last year. Cinnamon Crave. That's a pretty cool color. That worm juice is nice. Melon Dust. Oh, something different. Move these down. I'll show you what else we got. I think we got some creature baits back there. I forgot about. But if you want a, a, a little bigger uh, Ned, try the Ned Fry if you haven't tried it. Four and a half inches, 4.6 actually. Um, what do we got here? That's the six inch Hog Lala. 5.8 inch bluegill spawn color. I haven't really thrown these a lot. I messed around with them when I first got them, and they're okay, they're fine. You know, it's just another option for a creature bait. It's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's got some nice colors, looks good in the water. Uh, the stroker call I, crawl I really like. It's a good jig trailer. Now I have just two, two packs here. Uh, which, shockingly, everybody, is watermelon candy and green pumpkin juice. So you guys know I like watermelon candy, and of course I got a ton of them because a lot of times I have this color on sale. So I grab a few of them, so I kind of took it down. But I have boxes up there with all my six a lot of six cents plastic that i'll show you when we get to that to that area but uh that's it everybody i know this kind of looks like a like a mess up here now because i took a lot of stuff off and never replaced it but uh just give you a quick uh review with some six cents baits some of their swim baits somatis baits different baits he makes uh some hd tackles buried back there some biwas are buried back there the dry creek lures is a nice Nice uh, creature bait if you're looking for a, a beaver style bait to throw. Dry Creek uh, flipping tubes. And wacky worm, you Pennsylvania guys. Love wacky worm stuff. Do miss going there. But it's a little bit of a hike for me now. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get there anytime soon. Uh, Mismo, nice soft plastics, uh, tubes. And then the old uh, culprit water beetle. Uh, you know, a whole crap load of them. And like I said, I've got up on the right, on the. Oops, I'm tripping over stuff. Over there, there's some boxes on top there. It's just loaded with soft plastics, and I believe there's just bags of more of my culprits because to hang them all up, I'd need the whole rack. So I took some, I got so many of them. But that's it, guys. So that's the next section of the 
of the rack. So you've seen everything over here. You guys have seen all those baits. You've seen all those. You've seen all these. You've seen these in a different spot, but I moved them all. And you've seen everything here. So really what I've just got, and I know the light's not great over here, is the zoom. This is this end is just zoom and uh, net baits. And then there's just some various stuff on the back of this, some more zoom stuff. And some, so how I do that back, I'm not sure yet. But this seems to be working better with the phone. Definitely better than the iPad. It's just much easier to maneuver. But that's it. So like I said, any questions on any of these baits, if you want to see just that bait, a video on that bait in particular, let me know and I'll do it. Um, like I said, other than the Culprit Water Beetle, I think all of these other baits you could probably could still get. Um, if I can find a link to it, I'll share it with you. And uh, you know you can get the Somatises, you know you can get the Sixth Sense. I'm pretty sure Mismo is still around and Dry Creek and, and Deep Creek. So other than, like I said, other than the Culprit Water Beetle, <clears throat> and Culprit's still around. They just don't make the water beetle. But, uh, you know, you can get all this stuff. So I'll put links to it if you're interested in checking it out. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you soon on YouTube. Mark out.